So I currently attend college in a major city in the United States. It's a lovely place with tons of fun things to do. However, it has one big downside. It's a major human trafficking hub, one of the biggest in the nation. For me, a teenage girl, this means that I have to be especially careful. My parents gave me the whole safety talk before I moved out. Never go out into the city alone, especially at night. For my first eight months on campus, nothing too concerning happened, save for a few cat callers and the particularly inappropriate behavior of one homeless man as I ran by him during a workout. However, when I returned to campus after spring break, I had one of the most anxiety-inducing experiences of my life. I had visited my parents over spring break and taken a bus back. It was a lot cheaper than airfare and my cat didn't handle flying well. I'd visit home a few times and usually I would had no problem getting from the bus station to my dorm when I got back to the city. I'd call a ride home from an app and be home in 10 minutes or so. My bus got in around 9ish at night so it was already dark outside. I'm not sure what happened, but for some reason, the GPS on the ride sharing app must have messed up my location. Four different drivers missed the turn to find me, and ended up canceling the ride. After 30 minutes of waiting, now on the fifth driver, I finally called to tell her exactly where I was outside the station, so there wouldn't be any confusion. She said she was on her way, so I stood on the curb and waited. I had headphones on but wasn't playing any music. This was my way of preventing people from approaching me. After about two minutes of standing on the curb, a man walks directly behind me, stops, and leans up against the wall. At first, I'm only mildly wary of the man. I feel the vague sensation that he's watching me, but try not to get too paranoid. After feeling like the staring is continuing, I text my boyfriend to let him know what's going on, just in case. The man pulls out a flip phone and makes a call. I feel a bit less nervous until I hear the conversation. I'm not sure who he was talking to on the call, but the man was describing details of my appearance into the phone. I hear snippets like, she's tall. Maybe 5'8". I'm actually 5'10". Red hair? Yeah, yeah, she's young, she's pretty. I try not to show any sign that I'm hearing all this. My headphones are still on, so I figure he thinks I'm clueless. I check my phone to see where my ride is. She's stuck in an intersection about a half a mile away. I'm not sure what I should do at this point. I couldn't just start running because I still had my bag and cat carrier. I decide to call my driver again and ask her if I can stay on the line with her until she gets here. I can tell she's a little confused, but I didn't want to go into detail. If this guy was trouble, I wanted to make sure he didn't do anything sudden if he realized I caught on to him. However, I didn't want to call the police because I didn't think I had enough to report him yet. I also didn't want to walk anywhere else because the surrounding area wasn't lit, as well as where I was already standing. For some of you, this may not sound like the scariest experience. For me, however, being alone at night in a big city with a human trafficking problem, and suddenly having a strange man stare at me and call to tell someone what I look like in creepy detail, it scared me. Big time. He hung up his phone after a few minutes, and thank god my ride got there about a minute later. I'm not sure I'd want to know what would have happened if that driver had cancelled on me too. So phone call guy from the bus station, let's not meet again. <laughs>